I mean, you knew it was going to happen. It wasn't like you guys were an at-large. And when you finally see the 710 pop up and there's your name, first reaction is what? I get excited every year that we go. It's, ex you know, just overexcited and just another journey, another part of the season. You know, after we played in the conference tournament, that was a season and, you know, got that victory and won the conference championship. Now, now it's behind us and, you know, you see something new pop up and it's just, you know, just super, super excited for the ladies. Well, it's something new, but it's a team that they're obviously familiar with. They yeah. know some of those players. I mean, yeah. when it's Florida, given, you know, not too far away, what is that like for you guys? Well, first thought in my mind comes, why are we bringing all the Florida teams up north? I don't get that. But, it's uh, you know, I think... I think no matter whose name popped up, we'd be excited to play. I think I think some of our players know some of their players. I'm not too sure, but um, you know the good thing for us is playing in that region and playing in that gym. We played in that gym before, you know, and I think um, you know the UConn fans are familiar with us, and I, I think the first, at least our first game will have a little bit of a home court advantage because I think they'll probably cheer for us. What do you think about the Florida matchup? Like talking about I mean, Washington. What do you know about Florida? Yeah, I don't. I don't know much. I've only seen them play teams that we have had to scout against, but I haven't watched them, you know, that much. I know that they're doing really well this year. What, what comes with the challenge of not really knowing yet? Obviously, yeah. That, you know, but what comes with that challenge of you well, play this team in four or five days? Yeah. Well, it's actually, it's actually, I think it's really a lot harder to prepare for us in terms of how we play. You know, it's different, and but they will have, you know, plenty of days to prepare for our press, prepare for the matchup. So. You know, that's that's kind of different. But, you know, we just got to really prepare for personnel, you know, and then just be get fired up and ready to go and fight. You made it third time in four years, 12 seed, 10 seed. Now it's 7 seed. What does yeah. that say about the direction of the program? Well, it says a lot about our conference, number one, you know, and, and, and the USF getting in. And our conference really worked on, you know, trying to schedule really high-level schools and getting nets, our nets up. So that I think that's big, and I think that, you know, we played some really good schools and beat some really good schools, and we only lost to Iowa and um, Tennessee by a single digit. So, um, you know, I think that really helped our seed. And then I think our seed probably because we won the, you know, finished out the conference tournament and won the conference tournament, I think that really helped. Coach, not only getting the, you know, automatic qualifier, but this is a team that's been seasoned in the tournament with a couple of reps under the belt. Yeah. How do you feel about this team, you know, with that experience, being able to advance this time, kind of moving forward? Yeah, so as you're talking, I'm thinking, thank goodness we have Moss, thank goodness we have Tay, thank goodness we have Diamond, because they are seasoned, and they've, mm -hmm. they've been in these situations before, and, you know, I, I think they're just super excited. We're actually going to a place where we're comfortable, too. It's not like we're going to a gym we've never been at, we've never seen, you know, so... That really helps us out too. I know kind of the motto is to go one game at a time. Yes, it's hard absolutely. not to look and see UConn as a potential, you know, second game matchup. Having the familiarity with that, what is that like for you seeing them in the bracket with you right there? Well, it's it's kind of like bittersweet, you know, because they just left and now we gotta now we gotta <laughs> go back again up there. And you know, I, I'm not gonna concentrate on them at all. I'm just gonna concentrate on the first game and I know my coach is Easterkin's gonna do the scout, um, kind of take pressure off a of quiche a little bit. Uh, so she'll do that scout. Tony will do the Florida scout, and I'll, I'll only concentrate on Florida right now. Hopefully, Susie Gardner can take care of business for you. Yes, amen. Yeah. Good. You good? I think we're good. Good.